Okay. Matthew and I are having a little disagreement about the recording. Um, tonight's dinner is going to be like a flash fast dinner. I'm making steak sandwiches. I'm using, this is um, thinly sliced ribeye. And here for my seasoning for the ribeye, I have two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of garlic, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of powder, and a half a teaspoon of chili powder. And I'm just gonna get this all mixed up together really, really nice. Uh, sounds like Chip has a hairball. So, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna amp these up a little bit and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. First, I'm gonna season both sides of the steaks. And once I get one side seasoned, I'll flip them over and tell you a little bit more about what I'm gonna do. I have my oven preheated to 425. Uh, and I also have a new griddle pan that I just bought that I'm very excited about. It fits over two of the burners on my stove. I found it at Aldi for $15. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how this works out. So we've got one side seasoned. Flip them over real quick, get the other side seasoned. And then I'm going to flash fry these. And when I say flash fry, I mean, they're so thin, I don't wanna overcook them. But I mean, these are gonna be well done, most likely, by the time we get them done. What are you doing, Matt? I'm making it easier to keep this steady. Hmm. Neato. He grabbed the paper towel holder to stabilize the phone on. So, one side seasoned. Now I'm going to season the other side. Here's... This is kind of typical of the seasoning I use when I, I'm doing beef. I might do it in different amounts depending on what kind of beef I'm cooking and what for. That's just got a whole bunch right there. This was about a pound and three quarters of steak. So you could do this for about two pounds, anywhere from a pound and a half to two pounds of steak. You could use this um, blend. In my bowl right here, I have a whole medium sweet onion that I sliced up see that and then I have a red onion a yellow or onions a red pepper a yellow pepper and an orange bell pepper that I sliced up so I'm gonna flash fry these and then I'm gonna put them in the oven for when I fry the veggies and then uh, where I'll show you the next steps let me stop recording now is it recording okay so I'm gonna put these on here real quick just to get them brown on one side and then brown on the other side. Once I get them cooked, browned on each side, I will put them back on this pan because this pan is gonna go in the oven for them to finish cooking while I cook the vegetables. Two more. I'm going to make six sandwiches out of these. They're going to be made on ciabatta. I will toast the ciabatta. I don't think I've even had these on here for like one minute per side, to be honest. That's not quite ready to turn. That is. So I'm going to let these finish cooking and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the vegetables. I should mention that I used about a tablespoon of butter when I fried the meat before I stuck it in the oven. And then right here, you see, I have ciabatta that I actually stuck in the pan and toasted to get it ready for the sandwich part of it. Uh, and why not toast it in that same pan and get some of those yummy juices and things all over the bread. So I will be back in just a minute. Alright, time to saute the veggies. Still using the same pan. I just added two tablespoons of butter to the pan because we don't want these vegetables to stick, but we do want them to cook quickly and get nice and seared. 
before we add them to the sandwiches. Why aren't there any green ones? Because I thought I had a green one and I didn't, so I don't have green ones. Oh, it's not because I bought red ones the other day when I was supposed to buy green ones? No. No. Not this time. I love the smell of peppers and onions cooking together. Just something so delicious about that smell. I'm gonna let them sit here for a minute and get really good and seared. Just trying to make sure I had it nice and evenly spread out in the pan. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a piece of meat, I'm gonna turn the oven off now. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna leave the oven on because I'm gonna use it to melt the cheese that we're gonna put all over the top of the sandwiches too. So I'm gonna let these get nice and seared and then I'll come back and show you how to assemble the sandwiches. You're recording? Okay. Why do you not tell me you're recording when you start recording? Okay, so here's my ciabatta, here's my veggies, here's my meat, and I have some provolone and Monterey Jack cheese as well. You can see on here I have put the Monterey Jack on that side so that it can be melting into the holes. I'm gonna put about three pieces of steak on each sandwich. Maybe two, I don't know. These are really filling up the, the bread here. What do you think, Matt, two or three? I want three. You want three? Of course you want three. I'm gonna put there two, two. So one more and then you've got plenty for, I can have four on one. You're not getting four. Hand me a paper towel, I got that. Never mind. I'll put the veggies on first. Um, so I got my steak piled up. Now I'm gonna put some veggies on. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? Nice and caramelized, yum. Lots of veggies. My oven is still at 425. Piling this sucker up. Because vegetables are good for you, right, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> you sounded so enthusiastic. Let me put a little bit more on this one. And then on each of these sandwiches, I'm going to put a slice of provolone on top of the. Um, Pepper. The veggies. What? The peppers. Well, onion. But it's, it's pepper. What about it? It's pepper. What is? There's peppers. Yes, there's peppers and onions, so they're veggies. I'm going to put this in the oven for about five minutes because it's not going to take long to melt that cheese. And then when it's done, I will show you what a completed sandwich, all melted. Whoops, I had to eat that piece of onion. It wasn't in the right spot. All right, I'll be back in a second. Y'all need to see this. Matt, move the paper towel holder out of the way. Look at how yummy that looks. So, bread is warm. Everything's nice and toasty. Whoops, gonna have some veggies on the side to go with our vegetables. And I am going to cut this in half because kind of a monster sandwich, don't you think, Matt? Maybe for you. Maybe, maybe not for you, but for me, since my hands are so little. All right, here we go. Look at that. Oh, that looks delicious. Okay, y'all try this recipe. Tell me if you like it and take care.